everybody, welcome back to Slasher's Keep. We're gonna do a little better this time. I personally guarantee it. How could we do any worse? We're, we're at level four. The number of the beast, as far as our uh, stats go. We have a footman's shirt. Burnt out edge. Uh, I mean, come on. Burnout out edge, or the weird prickle of upheaval. Requires five ints. Damage six to eight very fast. Yeah, um, that's that's an easy decision. That's an easy decision in my world. Also, it has fire attached to it. Oh, did we perma learn? Yeah, we perma learned fire damage. Okay. So I'm thinking again. Although I would describe myself as embarrassed with my uh, performances in the game. We are close to a major Slasher's Keep revolution. I really thought we'd do more damage than that, but that's fine. We're close to a major Slasher's Keep uh, revolution. Couple of things we need to keep an eye on. A, a very large one is not falling into pits. Falling into pits historically has done me more harm than good. Okay, holding the left mouse button down appears to be a pretty strong technique. Nope, not today, not today. I was wondering if that would break the pot. I thought there was a chance that that wouldn't be coded into the game. Forget that, that's like infinite charge or something, or uh, full charge on your, on your wand is what I meant to say. Send him backwards. Dazed, reeling, about to break. I can't believe you didn't die in one hit. I honestly, honestly thought you were toasted. Hold on. Okay, we hear the sounds of machinery. We don't need the skull splitter. Wily footwear of love. We do need the trousers. Dude, look at the drip. We're we're upholstered. <laughs> Might as well put the gloves on. Don't need that. Something like that seems about right. Um, we're, we're flipping up holstered, brother. Now, mosquitoes, actually one of the most annoying enemies in this game. Especially on rooms with tall ceilings. It's one of the things I have heard about it as a genuine complaint, is that you can find yourself soft lock, uh, soft locked, I should say, occasionally. Um, and people, particularly on the subreddit, have talked about, like, multiple runs kind of requiring a, uh... A restart. I think it's... I, I don't want to say it's not catastrophic, because I'm sure that it sucks to have to restart. Um, but I'm also pretty sure... Uh, my multiplier! Um, that you can... If you have... Ha 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 He fell down the pit! Anyway, I was gonna say, if you have a saved character, you can all- When you restart the game, you start on a, uh, on a different floor. I know that sounds weird, but it randomly regenerates the floor for you. Um, alright. Well, that sucks. So we have, uh, I mean, that, that hurts. It hurts me deep in my soul. Um, on the other hand, we did come by it honestly. I also think that we somehow, like, did a, uh, an attack. That gave us, like, a, a, a leap, more or less? Stop. Stop that. Dude, I'm, I'm not minding that, though. Alright, so we got our comic timing, comedic timing out of the way early. Tomo would like to enter the office, so if you'll just give me a second. Welcome, Tomo. Welcome. Here we go. Alright, let's, let's make it back. I mean, we... The thing is, level one... You know, if you're gonna die again, dying on level one does kind of suck. Cause you basically you're only regressing. You know what I mean? You're you're gaining no progress uh, from an experience point standpoint. Um, on the other hand, it's okay. You know, cause you know what did we we fell from level four to level three. Probably stand a pretty realistic chance to get back to uh, level four on this very run. Although you are in a super annoying position. A super annoying position, but that's okay. I do apologize, uh, by the way. 
Hey, buddy. I do apologize, by the way, for there being the occasional day without Slasher's Keep. Um, last week, in particular, was just totally, like, screwed up in, a, in the best way possible. We had uh, doctor's appointments for the baby. We had, uh, you know, it was my birthday on Saturday. We had... Um, the the jug meat sing AOC uh, Among Us stream. We had a sponsor stream on Friday. Like it was it was a, a very very good busy week. Even the doctor's appointment was was good. Um, and it just it it left me slightly I wouldn't even say behind, but less ahead than I'd like to be. Because we did you know get Geo out last week, which was something we've been looking at for a while. I will, like, it's, okay, it's kind of annoying. Like, wh what are you supposed to do with this with this mosquito? <clears throat> My personal opinion, they should give you the ability to hit back the bullets. Or, like, maybe if you block them properly, it, it deflects them back. Otherwise, like, how are you supposed to deal with this guy? Like, it, it, whether or not there is a way, it doesn't feel like the right course of action is to have to, uh, you know, just wait for them to come to you, right? Like, that that doesn't feel like the way it was intended to work in the first place. Maybe I'm mistaken, but... just feel like uh, it's not really the way this is supposed to go down. I don't know, maybe if, maybe if I hide, your pathfinding will lead you to me. But then also, because the ceilings are high, like, there's nothing we can do but wait. Peekaboo. I guess this is where you really want to, like, have a wand, but... And there, there he goes. He's, he was moving backwards again. So what are you supposed to do? I don't have an answer for you. I would let me out, dude. This is BS. Okay. Look. Slasher's keep. I love you. You can you can refer back to the title in the first episode. Or not the first episode, but the of the, the one off video. Um Well now I'm just I'm throwing, but uh I said November's best indie game? And now Who would win? Incredible game design? and uh, an idiosyncratic art style, or one floaty boy? The answer right now is one floaty boy. Now, you might say, NL, why don't you just throw yourself down the pit? First off, I don't need your help to do that, in case that's not abundantly clear. Are you freaking kidding me, dude? <laughs> Secondly, um, I'm worried we would just get another floor, uh, with- with a mosquito on it. Like, this can't be working as intended, right? Can you- can you just get low? Maybe- maybe I can push you into- into that wall where I'd be more likely to get something good happening? Like, he's just being a troll now. Come on, man. No, 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 no. Back it up a little. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's all... Just one more move, please. Just one more move, please. Just move... You know what? We're gonna live with that. Please, for the love of God, I'm begging you, dude. I'm begging you. <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> You're trying to get me to kill the whole series right here. I, like, I don't know. I guess you're just not supposed to fight mosquitoes until you have a wand. Could you just make them, like, land for, like, a second every now and then? Or, like, not necessarily fly into outer space at every available opportunity like you're gonna watch um you're gonna watch a man go insane 
That that time I just didn't jump, I'll admit, but you you know, if you thought I was going to make it on that one, I got a bridge to sell you. What what if I jump up on top of my little booster seat here? I'm going to I'm going to equip a faster weapon. This is this is asinine. Maybe this is the one, dude. Oh my like I don't I don't know what to tell you. Is this what DMX was talking about when he said y'all going to make me lose my mind? Is there like a is there a way I can drop poison from the sky? Can I drop some poison from the sky perhaps? I guess I could just let you hit me with incredibly slow moving uh energy balls. Oh, the door just okay, finally it opened back up so we can leave. Um that is, that's like an actual, uh, huge design problem. I've, I so rarely say that. Maybe I'm missing, like, something about the mosquitoes. If I'm missing something about the mosquitoes, A, please let me know. Uh, B, please fix it. Hold on. Radiating spalders. Now we're talking. Alright, you know what? If, if that's your way of saying sorry... I accept. I accept your sorry. I do not know where we are anymore. But that's so. I mean, you can see on the map. You can see on the map. Okay. We need a wand immediately. Um, that mosquito, as far as I'm concerned, by the way, has, has earned his eternal life. I will not go back to try to get him. Now we're talking. It's he he's earned it. Quite simply, he's earned it. Okay, smash this open. Eat some apples. It's a part of a balanced dungeon keeper's breakfast. Two parsnips, two apples, an old sausage, and maybe a cooked spider if if you get lucky. You you snuck attack me. I'll take it. I'll take it. We're almost back to level 4. Don't just open these, necessarily. You want to see if maybe there's something inside of them. Oh, do it. Let's do it. Okay. So I really do think because of the permanent stat gain, at least for now, Outrunner's Footwear of Lust with some melee lifesteal, some pantaloons, and a charred hammer. Sure, why not? Malve's helmet! <laughs> um... I think it does make sense to kind of uh, speed up. And I know that we've, we've talked about the, the positives and negatives of this um, methodology before. But that was also before I spent, you know, eight minutes trying to kill one mosquito that kept running away from me at the last second. So um, my, my priorities have shifted over time to uh, the priority of progress. So let's let's try to get some progress and some progress, okay? I mean, we're already we're almost level four, so we're we're more than well equipped uh, for for level two. Should be at least. All right, now don't be reckless. That's the only thing I'll say. So you you want loot? If I could put some cool loot on you, we'll come back. Every other time, even when I've tried to give you some loot that I thought was like pretty decent. The game always goes, how dare you give me this garbage? This seems horrendous for me. But we do have... This is where you want the invulnerability potions. Oh, don't don't make me fall, dude. Okay, stop swinging, stop swinging. Th those are panic swings. Get it charged up, sprint in. Whoa, low, low. And then, here you go. Th this is where your level's coming easily. You might be a full HP, so let's just do it slowly here. We'll block and parry you. All the other guys up there honestly don't seem to know what's happening. They all seem to be running into each other perfectly, which is a great situation for me. Let's keep our stats fairly uh, even here. Take a big swing at nothing at all. Good hit, good hit. This could be decent XP gain. He can't hit me. You can hit me, but so what? Now you can hit me. Okay, we have lost half of our HP. 
Maybe just chill out a little. Drank a potion real quick. That's right, I'm not afraid to drink Estus during the battle. This guy can hit me right now. He can parry me pretty well, but he can't hit me. I'll take it. All right. Sometimes the jank works out in your favor. I got to do better on this run because Malph's been making fun of me. Turns an item into money. That's going to be hard because the bones are their money and so are the worms. Malph's been making fun of my progress in Slasher's Keep. Um... And that's fair, you know? I don't know if, if Mal fully comprehends, though, that playing a game on, uh, on Twitch and playing it on YouTube are different. Playing a game on Twitch is like playing it with the strategy guide open, and at any given time, even if you don't solicit help, the game pops up with a pro tip that's like, hey, just so you know, like, if you do this, you'll win the run. Playing it on YouTube is actually like playing it, like, when your mom's vacuuming when you're a kid and she covers up half the screen and you're like, I want to tell you to not cover up the screen, but at the same time, you are also doing something that's more important than me just playing the game. Fall? Because I'm not doing so hot right here. We have no extra healing potions, by the way. The fact that they're all bundled up on my quick bar makes it look like we have some. We do not have any. Oh, we don't have any small ones, at least. Just run. Don't even think about it. It was, it was worth the shot. What the heck? You can hit me, but I can't hit you. I don't think so. I don't think so, Tim. He's going. He's going. Um, my man just walked on the air. He walked on the air. It's all right. I'm not... You hear me? I'm not afraid anymore. That being said, I am a little afraid. I do love the way they just kind of walk off the edge. Okay, we do have double up. Oh, that's an amulet. That's even better. I'm, uh, this is like an embarrassing performance here, but um, we do have doubled up melee lifesteal. I don't think it's enough to just get in there and start smacking, but it is enough that perhaps over, over time... We do... A, appear to be healing 0.1 to 0.2 HP. I know you're being healed right now. I'm just hoping we got the out DPS there. Otherwise, you're kind of like an infinite wellspring of health for us. Yep, see? That's why you, you learned a valuable lesson there. You don't take two shots. We almost just died. Um, there we go. That was big. We, we have no healing, though. I squandered the limited healing that we did have. There must be more. Uh, yeah, that's maybe a bit of an understatement. There we go. Very good. Not today. Just chill. Just interrupt. We're just doing interrupt and chill. There you go. Okay. Okay. Starting to rebuild halfway to the next level. Oh, hello. I know you what you were thinking. There's a the the hardest time to be vigilant is when you have an excuse to be lazy. You know? Whenever you're like, oh, I had a little bit of a cold, so I couldn't study for the exam. Or, oh, I ran into this. My computer had some slight problems that made it inconvenient to do my, uh, my project, you know? Where you prove most impressive, build the most character, is when you do the work in spite of those situations. Can I tell you something? A lot of people are going to take this as a negative attitude. I mean, you could definitely, like, overwork. Don't get me wrong. Um, hold on. We got to pay it forward for the next run. But in uh, one of my Java classes, I went to Iceland for a friend's wedding. There was a major assignment due. 
while I was going to be in Iceland. I still did it and submitted it. From within the Airbnb. Many times I thought to myself, oh, you know, I mean, the other thing was like, I know it's sad, like maybe you have this idea that my, my friends were like, let's go to the Viking Museum. And I was like, I can't, I got a program. But really it was because half of it was, we were just so wicked jet lagged. I don't think we should do this yet. That we were waking up at like, you know, ungodly hours anyway. And I was like, well, it's not like I'm just going to go, you know, walk around in the minus 10 degree Reykjavik weather. In, in late November at 3 in the morning and the sun doesn't come up until 11. Beautiful city, by the way. We did get a chance to do some exploring. Okay, my favorite enemy. That was my second time in Reykjavik as well. But I mean, the city, the country is beautiful. Don't take this the wrong way if you're Icelandic. Unbelievably beautiful country. You can see everything as a tourist that you need to see in Reykjavik. You know, within a, a few days for sure. It's only, uh, you know, 100,000 people or something, right? Maybe, maybe 200,000 people. I think I would do well living in Reykjavik though. I like I liked the darkness. Okay, hold on. There we go. Chat chat was very ornery about that one in the past. Turret lights elevator. Oh! That's interesting. I had no idea there was like some Deus Ex stuff going on here. I have no idea what that is, but I'm assuming that's a damage buff. I disagree. Let me out. <laughs> Smash it. I want to hit the next level. That's my that's my thing right now. I would love to hit the next level before we go to the next floor. He, I forgot he could swing, dude. Face me. That was that was pretty important. That was a pretty important moment. Maybe it's a speed buff? I don't know. It's a little weird. That was a huge whiff. I, I accomplished almost nothing there. You gotta be close to death. Come on, come on. I think I'm scared of a little battle mage that can only swing in one direction. I'm not scared of a little battle mage that can only swing in one direction. Anyway, that bizarre bit about uh, programming... Was uh, meant to just say, yeah, I'm a little rattled from the fact that I had to, you know, engage in the battle of the century against a, an ornery mosquito. Um, but you know what? As a result of having gone through that, it would be very easy to be like, oh, that thing got me rattled. So now I can't focus. But instead, I'm taking the mindset of like, we invested so much time into that son of a gun. I don't want to just let it slip away, you know? Okay. Let me back in here. Um, in theory, we should be fine. We don't need too many more kills. In order to get our next level, you know? And next level comes with full HP. It would take us to level 5. Just careful. You can't really run from the ranged attack. Kind of just got to send it at the appropriate time. Lots of loot. Lots of loot. Not a lot of loot. One enemy, maybe. One enemy away from greatness. Uh, absolutely hate the looks of that room. Just going to be honest with you. <laughs> Not very happy with that room to begin with. Um, is there perhaps... I mean, it, it, it sounds... Oh, there's a there's a U! <laughs> what could we use? I mean, gloves, but really, like, what's the best equipment available? 
You gotta no no good weapons. Oh man, never mind. Gallant long blade of suffering. Storm tamer. Fine stabby stabby of the Everglow. Also gives you a mind blast. Ranged crit bomber person. I think uh, eleven body armor. And you are selling a potion for sixteen. Let's buy that. I think we're going to buy as many of those as we can. Uh, and still afford the fine stabby stabby. Because our weapon is not particularly good. It doesn't even have any flavor text. What? <laughs> I think I speak for everybody else when I say uh, how. Yes, extra extra life steal, please, and then just go two one one. Why can I not? Ag oh my God, it's a component. It's not even a weapon, dude. We were losing our mind over a freaking component. I was betting the farm on a freaking component. Ridiculous. Now I gotta find my way back to the next level thanks to a freaking component. That's not really how that works, but I'm gonna I'm gonna choose to be modestly upset nonetheless. Wasn't it down here? I thought it was. And then maybe. Okay, this. Please. Is it is? You're the shop. What the heck is the? You know what, now that I think about it, I'm like, wasn't the, the path to the next floor was like in a hallway? I'm so freaking confused. We got the silver key. We don't have the silver key! Am I crazy? Okay, well in that case, no, no, no. I remember. So we f we fought you guys in here. Then there were the moles. Is this the mole room? The mole came out of there. Maybe. Oh, jeez. Okay, never mind. We've done it. We already used our silver key. Okay, we're going to stop right there. We, we found our way, and that's good enough for me. We are level 5 for now. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. I'm going to great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. I apologize for my sense of direction. Please tell me how to deal with the mosquitoes, and I'll see you next time. See ya!